This is number five from the 2013 uh, Calc AB exam, and it is the area volume question. So let's see what we got. We're given that region, and we are told that f of x is 2x squared minus 6x plus 4, and we're told that g of x is 4 cosine of pi over 4x. Uh, so you do actually have to figure out which one of these two functions that you're looking at in the picture is uh, f of x and which is g of x. But f of x is a quadratic that opens up, and g of x is cosine, which starts at a maximum and then decreases, so it's not really hard to figure that out. So let's label those up. We've got g of x there, the top function, and f of x is the bottom function. And part a is to find the area. So we know that the area will be the integral from 0 to 2 of top take away bottom, and then dx. So now we actually have to do it. So this is just going to be a lot of writing. Uh, so I'm going to substitute in for g of x. I'm going to keep the minus and the quantity. So 2x squared minus 6x plus 4. And then a dx. Um, now I have to find an antiderivative. So uh, 4 cosine of pi over 4x. Uh, if you do a u substitution, u is pi over 4x. So du is pi over 4 dx. So I need a pi over 4. So I have to multiply by 4 over um, pi. So I'm going to end up with a coefficient of 16 over pi, and then the antiderivative of cosine is sine, and then when I plug in 2, 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2. Whoops, oh yeah, sorry, I'm not substituting it, so, um, just pi over 4x. And then here I'm going to keep the uh, parentheses to get uh, reverse power rule, reverse power rule, reverse power rule, get that, and then I have to evaluate from 0 to 2. Now I'm going to substitute in, so... Um, 16 over pi sine of pi over 2 and then minus the quantity and now I'm just going to substitute 2 in so 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared is 4 and 2 is 2 so that's where these numbers are coming from and then uh, it's going to be minus when you substitute in 0 you actually just the whole thing zeroes out so we get that so I would put a box around that and be done um, but if you prefer which actually I would prefer on the real exam, I would uh, simplify that down to this. Alright, so that's part A, and B and C aren't nearly so bad because they are set up but do not evaluate type problems. Alright, so we go back to what we have, and we are told we're going to rotate um, this region around y equals 4. So I'm going to dot in y equals 4. I'm also going to draw in my big radius and my small radius, and I know that the volume is going to be pi, times the integral from 0 to 2 of uh, my big radius is the axis minus f of x. So that's going to be 4 minus f of x. And I have to square that quantity. Minus my little radius is going to be um, the axis minus g of x. So the quantity 4 minus g of x and then squared and close parentheses and dx. And we don't have to evaluate. So we are actually done with that. And the next part is, if you know your volumes by cross-sections, actually a little easier. Um, because what we're doing is we're doing uh, squares that are perpendicular to the x-axis. So uh, the volume of with known cross-sections is just the integral from a to b of the area of a cross-section, and then dx in this case. Um, so we're going to have the area is side-squared because it's a square. And the side of the square is g of x minus f of x. So substituting in, I get that the volume I'm looking for, integral from 0 to 2, the quantity g of x minus f of x squared, and dx. And that's the entire problem. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.